guys, this is Amy Lee 33 and welcome back to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. Have you guys had an amazing week and a wonderful weekend? Tell me all about it in the comments down below. I want to hear all the mischief you speakers have got up to. I can't wait to hear all about it. So anyway, today we are going to do something very, very special, but it's a secret. It's a shh. You can't tell anyone it's a secret. So we're going to get right on that in a jiffy. But first, let's go and see our wonderful Minecraft family. Is that something on the roof? No, okay, that's my potions tower. I thought it was a googly up there. I thought I saw... What am I even doing with life? I'm destroying my carpet again. It's becoming to be a real problem. I think I need a therapist. Right, let's put that back there. And let's go search for our family. Now, where are Bert and Bertha? Where do you guys think they are? Do you think they're up or down? Up or down? I think they could be downstairs. Let's go check them out. Bert, Bertha, where are... Oh, hey, Bertha, how are you doing? You're looking darling, aren't you? You are looking absolutely fabulous. You are looking gorgeous. Look at those eyeballs. They're the most beautiful eyeballs I've ever seen, ever. I love you, Bertha, you big eye gooseberry. Now, where's Bert? Oh, there he is. Hey, Bert, how's it going? Bert, darling, oh, he's looking for a block, you see. He loves to stare at blocks, and that's his biggest passion in life. And I think he's chosen one. Has he chosen one? What are you looking at? You're looking at this torch. I can see why this torch is a really pretty thing to look at. It's bright and it's glowy. It's very pretty, but no, he's moving on. He's like, no, I've had enough of this one, Amy. I'm going to find another one. That's okay, but you know, you take your time. You play with all your blocks. I'm going to go see the doggies. Yay, doggy, 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 doggies. Hey, doggies, my little poodle crew. And of course, my kitty cats. How are you all doing today? What is this? This is Mittens Mischief. Mittens has been in my bedroom. Naughty, naughty Mittens. How are you all doing today? Hey, my darling animals, you're looking so cute. Look at them all. Ah, aren't they just wonderful? Are you all ready for your breakfast today? I have a nice juicy apple. No, really? No apples? You sure? How about some fishy? I think Saturn would like a fishy, and I think Comet would like a fishy too. Okay, doggies, I know what you're really after. You want some nice juicy steak. Ah, fish steak. Fish steak. Lovely Johnny Lover Petal steak. No, they really do want their steak. I'm not going to tease you any longer. I'm sorry, doggies. Hello, Luna, my gorgeous little Luna dog. There you go, lobster. There you go, Lola and Lexi. Have you noticed that like, my three like girly dogs, like they're ladies, and they start with L. We've got Lexi, Luna, and Lola. How cool is that? That's awesome. We have Mars. Hey, Mars. We have Sailor over there. We have... Who have we got in here? We've got Boomer. We have little Maximus and we have Romeo. Hello, my doggy crew. Now, who would like to come with me on today's little adventure? Who will it be today? <gasps> Should we play Twitchy Dog? I know you guys love playing Twitchy Dog with me. If you don't know what Twitchy Dog is, basically, you guys are going to think and try and guess which doggy will be the first doggy to twitch when I turn around. Okay, it's ever so simple. So, I think I'm going to guess it might be... Hmm, let me put Luna on the bed. So, I don't know if it's like, you know, the first dog in front of me that which is the most, I don't know, we haven't worked that out yet, and I can't quite see Boomer, so let's get Boomer out here a little bit, there you go Boomer, we can't get you out there Boomer, but I'm sure if you twitch, I'm sure I should be able to see, I can see most of you pretty good, so out of all the doggies we can see, who's that in the back, Boomer, look at Mama, look at Mama, and um, we're going to see if we can see any twitchiness, now Boomer, I, I, I may need to move little kitty cat here, come over here my darling, come here Comet, Comet, come here, look. Fishy. Fishy for Comet. Ah, oh, there you go. You can have another fishy. Good little Comet. Okay, Boomer, now you can get a little bit closer. Come on here, because I don't want you to miss out the fun. And I think that's it. I think we've got enough, like, visual to see everybody. Can I? Can I? Oh, no, I can't quite see Sailor. Sailor, I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you down here a bit. Now, Sailor and Boomer usually win Twitchy Dog a lot. Like, seriously, it's usually one of those two. So I'm hoping it isn't this time. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to guess it's going to be... I think... Uh, Mars just twitched them. I think it's going to be Max, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to turn around. I want you spooks right now in the comments, right now, type down below which dog you think is the first dog to twitch, okay? you got three seconds. <gasps> type it down below and see if you're right. Three, two, one. Okay, no more typing. We are going to turn around and hope that we're right. Okay, so I'm guessing for Max. That's who I'm going to go with this time. I am going to guess for Max. Okay, so in three... Two, one, Twitchy Dog! 
It was Lola! I just saw Lola's teeny weeny little nose twitch. Did you guys see that? It was really a tiny little twitch, but Lola won it. Well done, Lola. Come along now, because we have lots to do today. We have to get on it. So, let's go say a quick hello to the snow golems. Is Mittens at the door? Mittens? Where are you, Mittens? Mittens, what are you doing up there? Mittens, look at me. Look at Mummy. Mittens. Mittens, oh Mittens, don't give me the silent treatment because I put you back in your bedroom. Mittens, you know I love you. Mittens, don't, no, don't give me that look. Mittens, I love you. Hello, Mr. Frost and hello, Blizzard. Mittens, it's because you know why you get up to some mischief. You do, you're a cheeky, oh, okay, right. You can come out, but please don't cause so much mess because it takes me forever to clean it, okay? It takes me a bajillion years. Anyway, we better go. I could stay all day in my house, like, loving on my family, but I can't. Uh, there's a lot I need to do, so come on, little Lola dog. Come on, my little princess. How cute is she? I shut the door in your face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your head is now stuck. Come on, Lola. Come on, Lola. Come on, GP to Mummy, treepy. That's a good Lola dog. Anyway, hello, Grandfather Oak. Don't you just look spiffing today? Aren't you amazing? I do love him. He is a proper old chap. Anyway, let's go down to the cute recruit patch to see which cutie we have added this week. We have added an adorable cutie, as always. My cuties are always cute. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? And the cutie we have added this week is Michaela. Michaela sent me this amazing picture of me in my land flower. You can see it on the screen right about now. How cute is that picture? I love it. Thank you so much, Michaela. Your art is beautiful, and so are you. Welcome to the cute recruit patch. You rock my rainbow colored toe socks. You really do. So, we need to get on with our secret mission today. It's a surprise, actually, for someone very special to me. In fact, a few few people that are very special to me. I will, like, give it all away in a jiffy. But I want to go see if my good friend Squishy is here today. Because in the last episode, we had a lovely feathered visitor and she built herself a little nest over there. Now, she did say to me that sometimes that she's going to be sleeping because she likes to sleep a lot. So I've got to be really quiet and see if she's in her little house. Because I love Squishy Duck. She is awesome. So we've got to be quiet. She could be napping. Let's see. Squishy... Squishy, are you in here? I can hear, I can hear some gentle snoring. I think she could be in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave her some seeds for her breakfast. There you go, Squishy. Sweet dreams, Squishy. Have some seeds, Squishy. Okay, we better get on now. We better leave Squishy to it. Oh no, it's night time. The googlies are going to come. So we have been busy. In the last episode when we had Squishy, you probably saw me gathering lots of snow. And, in fact, if you didn't see that episode, check the bubble above my head right now. Can you see it? Can you see the pink bubble? Isn't it the cutest little thing? Click on that little bubble and that will take you to last week's episode where my good friend Squishy Duck joined the fun. But, yeah, I was busy collecting some snow. And I didn't tell you guys what that was for because that is for today's episode. It's a secret. So let's go ahead and you can see the kind of mischief I've been up to since you have been gone. Um, which is up here somewhere. So let me just have some lunch. Some lovely apple. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Lola, are you here, darling? Lola? There we go, Lola. Yay! So we're going to go into the bathroom room. Mittens. Mittens. I love you. You're a crazy gooseberry. Hee <laughs> so super cute. So, we've got to be really quiet because the snow golems can't know about this. It's a secret, guys. Shush. So, this is the bathroom room. And I've changed it up a little bit from the many, many episodes ago that I actually made this. And there's a little secret right about here. And if you really knock this down, I've been busy building a little stairway down here. It's top secret. And I've got to be really sneaky because how do you even sit down? Lexi, what are you doing here? Lexi, where's Lola? Lexi, what even is life? Lexi, where's Lola gone? The confusion is real right now. What even? Okay, so apparently Lexi and Lola are joining us on today's episode. I don't even understand the logic of this, but hello, Lexi. <laughs> Wonderful to see you. So anyway, if we knock this wall out, okay, this actually goes to the happy room. We've got to be quiet. Shh. Are they in there? They're not in there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be knocking this wall down 
and then they, uh, they're going to be able to go into this little secret room. But they're not going to know about it yet. So we're just going to like chop this down. Come on then, Lexi. I hope Lola follows us. And if we go down here, we are going to be making a little fun house for Mittens, Mr. Frost and Blizzard. I think they deserve that. They just want to go out and have fun. So I'm going to build them a huge playhouse down here. And it's going to be completely like in snow and everything. And it's going to be awesome. So that's what I've been busy doing. And it's going to take a million bajillion years to get this all dug out because it's going to be huge guys I'm not even kidding it is going to be ginormous so that is what I have to do and I know it's wicked boring and I'm so sorry but this is Minecraft I need to be mining it's what we do it's what we do for Minecraft we mine that's why it's called Minecraft so I thought like making a little fun house would be so much fun and I've been thinking of really cool things we could do like we could build an igloo for them and we could build like maybe put some music down there because we know that my golems just love to dance and we could build like a playhouse and like maybe like even some kind of tree house or something or maybe a frozen lake I think they will love it but it is a complete surprise I don't want Mittens finding out about it until it's done because Mittens is going to love it and of course Mr. Frost and Blizzard too I do love my snow golems I cannot even on the cuteness of them and then that way when they're really good I can let them in the fun house and they won't be able to cause much mischief because the whole thing will be covered in snow I won't even have to clear it up it'll just be their little fun time so that is awesome so I'm hoping that this won't take me too long and um, by maybe the next episode I would have this whole place like all hollowed out and we can start with the fun stuff and making some snow arrangements so you guys will have to help me and come up with some ideas on what I should build like a snow tunnel and like I don't know like an obstacle course made out of snow or something I don't know but I, I would love some ideas so please put them in the comments down below because I always read your ideas and your comments and yeah I love having you guys like help me figure out what to do it is awesome but yeah this this will take me some time so I do apologize that this is going to be an episode of mining just ever so slightly mining maybe we'll have a little break halfway through and do something crazy and we can go see the horses or something because I haven't like ridden the horses in a long 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 time and um, I've got a chest down here that I can put all this like cobblestone in and stuff and then we got some iron and coal so it's not a complete waste like mining is we, we need to do it and I'm still confused as to why Lexi came down here but you know what, Lexi is very intuitive. Maybe there's googlies down here and she wanted to be protective because she's very protective, is Lexi. She won't let any harm come to me. I love my Lexi dog. She is awesome. Okay, so if we just get all this done, like I say, this place is going to be humongous. It needs to be if I'm going to fit like an igloo and a like, little dance floor or something in here. It is going to be huge. Cannot even... Um, but yeah, I really think they're going to really enjoy it. And it's something I've been thinking of doing for a long time. But I just don't want to, like, I don't want to show it to them. I don't want the golems to find out until... Lola, why are you glitchy? Look at you. you It's like you're electrified. What is going on? There is something not right here. <laughs> Can you get out of the wall? There you go. Silly gooseberry. What is going on with my world right now? I don't even know. There's, like, some glitchiness happening. I don't... I, I The confusion is real. The confusion is real. Right, um... I don't know how high or long I want it. I just need this room to be absolutely humongous. That is that is all I need to do. And we are actually pretty much under the cute recruit patch. So I need to be careful that I don't accidentally like dig through at the cute recruit patch. Because that wouldn't be cool. There'd be like flowers and like signposts raining down on me. And yeah, that can't happen. Because we need the cute recruit patch to be there forevermore. Um, so let's... Uh, I don't know how high we should go... But I do want it huge. I really, really want the snow golems to have an amazing place. Because the doggies have a little fun house. And the kitties have the kitty cat kingdom. And I think it's time for Mittens, Mr. Frost and Blizzard to have a place of their own. That they can cause all the mischief they want in the whole world. And yeah, it'll be cool. And then maybe... Well, we've got like a show jumping arena for the horses. So everyone's pretty much got a little place to go. Except for the snow golems. And maybe one day we can make something for the iron golems too. We can make like a little iron playground or something. Although, I don't really think Bert and Bert are the playing types they're pretty they're, they're a little bit older i don't think they're gonna have that much fun in a playground like all the others do like the rest of us are all big kids and bert and bertha are like that they're, they're a lot more older and yeah they're they're not gonna be playing they they just want to be like you know protective and be like bodyguards and stuff they're awesome um, so how are we doing? We're doing pretty okay. So yeah, we are going to have to go back like quite a lot. Like I say, guys, this is going to take a little time. And I'm so sorry that this is not the funniest thing in the world to watch ever. But 
like everything in my land of love everything is vanilla and everything is totally organic and you are going to see everything that i do um but of course i will continue doing a little bit off camera just so it isn't too insanely boring otherwise i'd be doing like seven episodes of just digging this place out but i just want you guys to see how i'm actually doing this and then if you guys want to make a snow golem fun house you can kind of like learn off me and maybe we can do the same kind of thing and i'd love to see you guys what you'd come up with too like if you make a video i'd like to see what you guys get up to it's awesome lexi you're so super cute i cannot even feel the cuteness of you um so yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good for time. We're, we're, we're doing good. But I do think we do need a little break in a second because, you know, those like five minutes of mining completely wore me out. So maybe we should go and check out the ponies or go and do something fun or go play. Oh, you know, we should go and see Grandfather Oak again because I have not like gone on a little swing today and I really miss it. I love feeling the wind in my hair as I swing on the tree swing. Every time I say tree swing, in my mind, I have to remind myself not to say cheese string. I'm not even kidding. Do you remember? Actually, I don't know if I I put it out in an episode but there's one episode I was recording of Land of Love and all I kept saying was oh I love this cheese string and I, I think I edited it but I just could not not say cheese string it was so funny it was like come on Amy talk say it it's not a cheese string it's a tree swing silly gooseberry but yeah anyway I think we need a break because you know that was so hard work I think we need to go play time play time play time play time love 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 oh uh, is this still night time maybe I need to snooze a lot but you know because we don't want to <gasps> we need to be quiet guys okay don't mention this to mittens okay this is a top secret thing lexi this is a top secret thing Shh. we have to sneak out mittens mr frost <gasps> oh, oh mittens are coming <gasps> hide hide <gasps> Shh. Shh. mittens is coming where's lola lola mittens Lola's out there. Is, are we free, Lola? Can we come out? Lola nodded. We, we should be safe. <gasps> okay, okay. Come on. Ah, 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 Mr. Frost! Ah, Mr. Frost is coming! I can't. We've got to be quiet. We're not in here. We're not. We're, we're in bed. We're, we're not in here. No, we're not. Lexi. Are we safe? Okay, there's mittens. Okay, Mittens is going. Okay, okay, quickly, run, run, run. Run, she has to see us, she has to see us. Sleepy time. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, it's morning. Oh, good morning, everybody. Love, love. <laughs> hey, Bert, how's it going? Oh, hello, my lovely snake columns. Hello, Mittens. Hello, Mr. Frost. Oh, well, I've been really busy, like, mining for diamonds down, like, in my work mind, like... In my work mine over there somewhere. I have. I ha yeah, I, I didn't find diamonds, but I found coal and stuff. I did. That's what I did. I found coal. Anyway, I'm going to go and play with Grandfather Oak and have a little swing in the trees. Swing. Trees. <laughs> <laughs> seriously that was not even joking like i actually said that in the tree swing it's not hard amy okay ha ah, isn't this the funnest thing ever we loves it okay i just bumped my head already cannot even anyway we have just run out of time for this episode it's been super much funness as per usual so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna finish doing the boring work and hollowing out the snow golem fun house Shh, don't tell the snow golems kids you can't tell them okay it's a secret <laughs> so by the next episode it should be all ready for us to do some decorating and i do need to get some more snow and stuff like that so if you guys have any ideas on what you think i should build in the snow golem fun house please put it in the comments down below because i can't wait to read them and yeah thank you guys so very much for watching thank you again to michaela for your amazing piece of fan art i'm gonna put it at the very end of this video as well and yeah i love you guys bye